Okay, hello there everybody, uh, this is Cholera, and uh, before I begin with tonight's cast of the CSL Finals, I just want to uh, do a quick mic check here with everyone. Um, when you hear this, can you tell me if uh, you guys can hear me and uh, everything sounds okay and everything? Just type it in the chat, I am watching it. Alright, I score a touchdown, alright. I had to uh, reformat my computer a week ago, and uh, that wasn't fun, but uh, I came out victorious. had destroyed the village in order to save it. But uh, I will be beginning here with the first cast. The first game is already done. It is uh, a Protoss versus Terran on Destination, and rather than me tell you about it, uh, let's begin. This is the first game of the... CSL Finals! These two schools have uh, fought really hard to get here, of course, so congratulations to both of them. We have here Peter playing for University of Texas, the Red Terran at top, and Zico, the Purple Protoss at bottom here, playing for Berkeley. And uh, really, this is a very, very interesting fight here. I think um, there was a poll on Team Liquid, and uh, about 70% of the people uh, favored Berkeley. Berkeley, of course, the only uh, school in our country, or the only college in our country, to have a course on StarCraft. And uh, University of Texas, though, really a powerhouse this season. I believe they had the best rank in the regular season of any of the schools. And uh, we'll see what happens right here with the Berkeley player, though. Looks like Zico is sending out one of his early probes here, possibly to go for some cheese, and uh, that's not too um, that's not too uncommon on this map. Of course, uh, this being destination, we see this quite often um, with Protoss players putting a proxy gateway inside of the natural expansion of the Terran, and uh, it's going to come down to micro and also when the Terran decides to move out in this game. Um, by the way, big shout out to uh, the people at Princeton and Hazley Nut, of course, for uh, helping to organize everything. And actually, it looks like, no, it's a gas deal here, most likely. Um, it was a little bit late, I was going to say, for a proxy pilot. Oh, but look at that. Gas deal denied here by the Terran player. Very nice uh, job by Peter. And that sort of, um, you know, defeats the purpose of saying that very, very early uh, scout before even pylon was put down. But, you know, it, it won't hurt uh, Zico that much. Um, it, it certainly will be a little bit of a hindrance, but he's um, making up for a little bit here by uh, doing a decent harassment of the uh, Terran's um, SCVs as they're trying to put up the wall. And a manor pylon here for uh, Zico, and uh, Zico actually has trapped three SCVs. That's actually quite impressive, I gotta say. Perfect timing here from the Berkeley students. So I'd say uh, with that manor pylon, he's definitely made up for any deficit he could have had uh, from from the beginning of the game by sending out that probe. So uh, he's gonna go for a gateway gas here, and it uh, looks like a barracks and gas, of course, uh, has been put down. Actually, the gas was um, was paused by the Terran player. Uh, because I guess um, he doesn't need it right now. He needed that extra SCV to go and uh, chase away the probe and, and do other things. Uh, Zico has kept the pylon up. I think this is a, a smart idea here. Although it seems that it's actually only trapped one SCV. Um, two of them actually managed to get out of that little uh, prison. So uh, it's not going to be that effective. It's really going to come out to be somewhat of a wash. However, the turn player, uh, Peter, is suffering from some <laughs> striking workers here. His SCV is on strike, and uh, that is not going to help him there. There are two idle SCVs already in the game, and uh, one trapped, of course. Cybernetics core done now for um, Zico, and Zico is definitely ahead in the timing, uh, way ahead in the timing here, um, I think, in this game. Uh, finally, his probe goes down, but note, no gas has been mined yet from Peter, so Peter right now is, uh, in my opinion, facing a bit of a deficit here. It could uh, grow bigger depending on what the Protoss player decides to do, and wow, there was another Manor Pylon being put down. Six play here from Zico, and Zico, meanwhile, has uh, stayed on one gate. He's going to build a Dragoon and get uh, range here. Doesn't look like he's going to pull anything more tricksy than that, um, and he might decide to uh, get some tech once he manages to kill this SCV here. That would be a smart idea, of course. He doesn't want it to be um, scouted. Or he might go for an expand. That is a possibility to try to uh, gain an edge here, but given his aggressive opening, I would favor him um, going for more of a uh, 
going for more of an aggressive opening here, more of a tech opening, uh, or maybe adding some gateways. And uh, it looks like we've got uh, oversaturation on gas, actually, from the Terran player. Um, so J2 Peter, I've not seen him play, but uh, he is, uh, you know, from the Longhorns, and uh, they, they have been playing impressively. I did do a cast of them fighting against Rutgers in the semifinals, and uh, they definitely um, overall outplayed Rutgers. And uh, I, I have to say, their 2v2 team looked quite good. It's going to be the same 2v2 team, I think. So uh, that's going to be nice. Um, five Marines out for Peter. So Peter has been spending minerals, of course, getting a good number of Marines. And that's going to help him here defend. But uh, this one Dragoon is going to have range against the Supply Depots and uh, against the SCVs that are going to be forced to be pulled here. So um, it looks like we're seeing an expansion here from the Toss. And uh, he has managed to kill off the um, scouting SCV, so that is going to uh, remain unscouted for now. Um, we'll see if that uh, forces the Terran player into playing even more cautiously, uh, perhaps by forcing him to put down an early engineering bay or something like that. That would be a huge win for the Protoss player if he's not going to go Reavers, uh, which he won't anytime soon. Um, so anyway, let's see what's being researched. It looks like it's going to be Siege here, and that probably uh, is going to be pretty good for Peter. Um, since we're not going to see DTs, uh, we're not going to see Reverse, Siege, Fast, Expand, Possibility is, uh, is, is probably the best way to go here for him. Um, I don't see any other factories up for him, so uh, this is going to be probably a one-fact expand build. But once again, like I said, the timing is way off. Hidden pylon there in the corner for Zico. Zico still playing masterfully up here, uh, managing to do a lot of damage to the supply depot. Tank is finally out, though, and uh, the tank is probably going to eventually ward away these Dragoons, although he has to be careful not to lose it. Uh, nice. The Dragoon's doing some damage to the tank. Now the tank has to get repaired before he can uh, do any more um, damage to these Dragoons. So, very, very nice play here from Zico. I gotta say, oh my god, the tank goes down! So, Zico, I gotta say, putting the pressure here, looking like a pro here with his uh, Dragoon pressure. Um, very nice, just abusing the fact that he managed to slow the turn down in the beginning. And I gotta say, uh, I, I uh, you know, regret doubting him in that early pro. That probe definitely was worth its weight in gold there. Uh, seriously, a hero probe causing so much delay inside of the Terran's base, and that's really set him so far behind here. Um, it doesn't look like uh, the, the attack really can be followed up with much else right now, uh, but a starport now going up for Peter. But uh, I was going to say, Zico is way ahead right now in terms of econ. Uh, in terms of really tech, he's gotten a robotics facility up, and he is going to get a shuttle, interesting enough, so we're going to possibly see some kind of bulldog attack here, going to drop some uh, zealots all over these tanks and try to break the front that way, and that could be very effective, although there is an engineering bay going down now. So I think the Terran player, uh, Peter, might be thinking about trying to get a comeback here by um, maybe going for a vulture drop, a tank vulture drop, uh, maybe maybe drop behind the natural expansion of the toss. Of course, this dark area over here is a very good spot to uh, do some drops um, and harassment. And we are going to see, indeed, some zealots to load up into the shuttle here. And this is going to be the beginning of a, an attempt to break open the Terran's front. Um, I got to say, if Peter can... Uh, I'm sorry, if Zico can you know, do the same kind of micro, the same level of micro that he's been showing this whole game, uh, I do favor him possibly being able to win this game, or at least make it impossible for Peter to win this game with his drop coming up. He's got himself about eight Dragoons, um, third gateway going up, and uh, Forge and Observers coming out. Meanwhile, uh, I haven't seen any mining going on just yet for uh the Terran player. No mines being placed down yet. Um, that could hurt him also if he doesn't get them down soon. He is building a dropship, as I uh, anticipated. He's probably going to go for a drop, but just look at his tank count right now. He's got two tanks, three tanks, and some turrets in good positions, but um, I don't know if it's going to be able to handle this uh, drop and Dragoon attack that should be coming up very soon. So, uh, fourth gateway going up, and a plus one attack. I mean, just looking at the food count and everything of the Protoss, uh, he is far ahead of the Terran player. Um, Terran player still just acting off of one factory here and one base. And uh, really, he's, I don't know if he's even, even if he does a masterful uh, 
a drop here and you know doesn't even lose uh, anything in his front. I, I don't even know if he can come back at this point. I guess his drop has to do just an uber amount of damage here. This has got to be some kind of crazy fantasy style drop here. Just kill like every pro but the natural expansion somehow. But I like this play here. I like this from Zico playing it safe with the cannons. So that's going to save himself uh, against uh, you know any kind of flat out vulture harassment that could be coming. He's got a lot of probes also. Good saturation there. Um, and a couple of uh, vultures being dropped. They've been spotted by the uh, observer. So really, this is... Um completely lost element of surprise here and uh, all the Dragoons are now coming towards the southwest of the base here going to try to stop this drop from doing anything and a drop ship I'm sorry a shuttle full of uh Full of zealots, and actually, it seems that the uh, shuttle evaded me. Also, he, uh, sorry, the dropship evaded me. Also, he's running off into the main base, and that'll be that for the drop. So, I think Peter is going to uh, be facing a very uphill battle here for the rest of this game. Um, he might be able to secure this expansion right now, but it is going to be hard for him to come back. And uh, Zico actually is content to play a longer game. He doesn't want to have to end it here at two base. He wants to get a third base. He's also not mining gas. Um, maybe on purpose. It could be on purpose to try to uh, just power up a lot more units and maybe try to end it soon. We'll have to see. Um, upgrades still going up here and uh, looks like we got some uh, observer upgrades too. That's pretty smart. Pylon being built at the most likely location for a uh, expansion uh, of another, uh, you know, the sec third expansion for the Terran player. Um, you know, the Terran player usually likes to take the bridge expansion more than the uh, other expansion in the corner because of the um, range of the siege tanks, I think. So I think they like that position in general a little more. Five factories up for Peter, and Zico um, is going to be... Uh, looks like he's just exploring the map right now. Just going to be building up his uh, economy and um, try and play an econ game. By the way, game two should be exciting. We have uh, Yosh playing for Berkeley. I did read that some people consider that a little imbalanced, but, you know, I got to say, you play with the best that you have, and Yosh, of course, is a very famous player, um, you know, oftentimes qualifies to the World Server Games USA qualifiers, and uh, certainly is going to be someone who's who's definitely a favorite, I think, in any match among the, uh, you know, the amateurs, the college students here. Um, oh, a drop going on the back of the base. I'm sorry I didn't catch that, but it looks like it was completely wiped out by Dragoons and Cannons. So, once again, uh, Peter unable to do any damage with his harassment. Although, uh, you know, Zico has not really felt the need to go out and, and do any harassment of his own here. Um, I guess he's just content to sit back and, and pick up a lot of bases and just uh, eventually just overwhelm his opponent here. Food counts at uh, 118 versus about 80-something for the Terran player. Plus one upgrade also for uh, for Nico. Zico, sorry. <laughs> and uh, I don't see Peter with an armory yet. I think that's the first armory. So he is going to be behind on upgrades. Yeah, definitely behind on upgrades here for the entire game. That is definitely something else that's going to count uh, in his disfavor. So, um, hope you guys are, are enjoying this cast. I'm trying to uh, basically streamline everything so it doesn't lag. So the frame rate might be a little bit low. Um, I'm actually not monitoring the chat right now, so uh, you guys are, are whining about it. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I can't see it, but I am going to just... Uh, offer some uh, quick apologies uh, in absentia. Uh, I think Diggity has a, a more uh, smooth setup, but unfortunately he is at a wedding right now with Moltrap. Uh, no, they're not getting married. They're both at a wedding uh, together. Um, someone else's. <laughs> anyway, looks like three vultures being adventurous here, uh, and they're going to get cornered and killed here. Um, Let's see what tech the Protoss has gotten going here. Oh, he's just got mass zealots. Um, I remember when I did that cast against uh, of Princeton versus Tsinghua University from China. The Chinese players had absolutely great control of mass zealots. I mean, they would against uh, in a PVT they would just go for a ridiculous number of zealots and just overrun um, their Terran opponents from Princeton. And really, uh, it was just just slaughter. I mean, I, I actually didn't think that they'd be able to win with just like. 36 zealots, but they proved me wrong, actually. You know, the Red Army there. Um, so, we got the Protoss, uh, Zico, going for an advance here. He's still got this shuttle that he hasn't used. I expected him to use this, like, uh, 10 minutes ago, but um, he's not going to. And, oh, nice placement of the pylon. Comes in handy right now uh, <laughs> in blocking that command center from coming down. Of course, the units near there also uh, are prohibiting 
Peter from doing anything. And uh, this is smart here from Zico. He's stopping Peter from uh, moving out here, and, and Pete's really going to have to... Uh, you know, I don't know. He's going to have to send his tanks out. His vultures alone are not going to be able to force his way out to picking up a third base. And I believe there is an uh, Arbiter attack going up somewhere here. Uh, actually, no, two Stargates, and uh, makes me f have to look around here to see if it is indeed Arbiters or possibly Carriers, um, because it seems that the tech has been hidden pretty well here. Uh-oh, there's a third Stargate, and uh, where is the Fleet Beacon here? I'm getting a little nervous, um, because this could mean something else. This could mean another type of unit. Uh oh, <laughs> that's not as utilitarian, but certainly has an effect for team morale, and that would be the scout or possibly the corsair. Uh, could they? Could could Berkeley really be making a statement here this early? I might be just overexcited at seeing three stargates without a fleet beacon that I can find at least. But um, I don't know. The, he is pretty far ahead. Zico is. He's at four bases against two, and uh, you know he's he's near maxed. So. Um, who knows what's going on here? Okay, it is Arbiters. <laughs> Three Stargate Arbiters. All right, there must have been an Arbiter Tribunal somewhere that I missed. Ah, there it is. All right. So we're not going to see it, uh, a ridiculously bold and BM statement here in the first game, unfortunately. Uh, that would be a hilarious way to open up, though, with scouts. God. Um, maybe it's just my imagination. 1-1-1 one, one, one here for the... Protoss player, and ouch, 0-0 zero, zero for Peter. That is not going to be good for him. He's finally going to get plus one attack. And uh, really, this game has been very, very calm. Pretty much, this game has uh, been defined by Zico stopping Peter from getting anywhere. He is just totally on lockdown mode here. Protoss lockdown. He's uh, stuck in supermax here. And, um, you know, he's sending out these unimpressive vulture groups that really are not doing anything. I think Peter's window of opportunity has uh, is really closing, if it hasn't closed already. Um, he really should be just thinking about going for one push and uh, trying to win before the Arbiters come out, because that's going to be it. When the Arbiters come out and they can do recalls or they can uh, you know do some stasis, that's going to be it. That's going to be it. The uh, Protoss player is just going to win then. Um, auto win pretty much and the command center still is not <laughs> having any luck going down oh man i cannot believe this zico putting cannons down even so yeah he's in a decent position right now stasis being researched and uh in all honesty here uh, we're seeing a pretty much a runaway in this game here and uh and poor uh, Terran here i mean i think he probably has enough awareness to know how far he behind he is but he certainly doesn't seem like he's wants to commit just yet. I mean, I don't know uh, exactly what he's waiting for, but um, he he's just waiting right now, and uh, this is not boding well for him. So it, it seems that basically maybe what he's hoping for in his uh, procrastination, sorry about that, um, is that he's hoping that maybe, maybe, just maybe, Nico, or Zico rather, will uh, make some kind of foolhardy, retarded attack into his natural, suddenly lose all of his forces, and uh, that will allow Pete to, to move out and, um, I don't know, crush his expansions one by one, or at least secure this third that he wants. But that's probably not going to happen. Finally, it looks like, with the help of some dropships, uh, these Dragoons are going to get killed, and it seems that finally, maybe, this expansion will be taken. But uh, before long, we're going to see that the maxed out Protoss just, just rampage his way in, straight in here. Just checking. Want to make sure there are arbiters being produced here. Doing a weapons check. See if there's any scouts being produced. You know. Make me happy. If any of you uh, players are watching, um, you know, players who are going to play in later sets, I do want to see at least one example of a useless unit here in this best of five series. So, uh, you know, if you guys are winning, just start thinking queens. Start thinking ghosts. Nukes. That's what I want to see, baby. All right, so uh, looks like we got a lot of zealots trying to get in. Not going to work, but um, right now, Zico is just free to take out this new base before it even had a chance to go up, really. And the cannon! <laughs> the cannon was attacking the command center. Wow. So, um, yeah, the uh, Terran player at a bit of a disadvantage here. He's going to lose this base um, before it even goes up, it seems, and... Uh, Honestly, the Protoss, uh, Zico, is just, uh, he's just procrastinating a little bit also at this point, but, um, you know, I guess he just wants to make sure uh, he doesn't, uh, nothing happens, I guess, he secures his victory. So, Berkeley, of course, uh, you know, the only college, the only, the only educational 
program I know of that has uh, teaches about a video game. Honestly, that is so rad. Uh, and uh, I wonder if any of the um, people on the team are enrolled in this uh, in this class. I know Yosh is involved, of course, uh, but if everyone else is involved, you know, as a student or a TA or something. All right, so. Maybe we're going to see 9,000 minerals here from Zico. I saw that in uh, another game um, I casted earlier in the uh, CSL season where one Protoss managed to get over 9,000 minerals in a game where both players decided to uh, go out for lunch for a while. Um, it looks like Peter is finally going to uh, make his grand push here uh, out right in front of his base, but um, this push is probably not going to work. Unless uh, I am completely wrong. Uh-oh. What is this? Uh-oh. Am I seeing plus one air armor and plus one air attack? Um, maybe we're going to see scouts anyway, because there's no reason to get that for your arbiters. Uh, this is just... <laughs> I mean, honestly, there's no... There, Zico can do, build anything he wants, because uh, he's got a ridiculous amount of resources in the bag. Oh! Beautiful stasis here from Zico. He's going to be just running his forces in. I do think this will be the death knell here for J2 Peter playing for UT and uh, it looks like here yep Zico still has enough Dragoons and Zealots and not to speak of uh, some stasis probably left um, to to wipe out this army and this is going to be game here very soon uh, GG remember to say the rep thank you for showing me the rep and uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, this is the end of the first game it looks like Berkeley is up 1-0 in this best of five series to see who will be the very first collegiate champion of the very new Star League here. And it looks like the game is over. Thank you for watching. I will be pausing the stream to pick up the next uh, replay. But uh, do, stay t do, do sit tight there, of course, in the channel. And uh, I'll be right back.